Hey, so we've all been in that situation where we've uh, gone to do some uh, final overdubs for a record or something, and uh, we're using a mobile rig, and uh, we've gone to uh, meet the artist, and we find out we can use a separate room to set up in. So that's great because, you know, we... Um, we can isolate the artist a bit more um, in terms of sound and we can monitor a bit more easily on studio monitors, uh, maybe our mobile monitors rather than headphones. And it's, yes, yeah, fantastic solution. But then we realised there's no talkback system. It's not like a proper studio. And we didn't bring a rack with a talkback system in it. Uh, maybe you're just a, a home recordist or a musician and um, you want to put a a drummer in a separate room or you want to put your singer in a separate room and you want to be able to talk to them about the performance in between takes and you know you don't want to invest in a in a mixing desk you don't want to uh invest in a in a separate talkback system uh rack mount mixer or anything like that um you just want a quick and easy way of chatting to the artist in between takes so how do we do it well it's pretty easy um really we we can do it in most DAWs i'm not aware of any DAW that has a specific talkback channel or talkback function um so if i'm wrong please uh notify me because i'd love to check that out um and see how it works um but the way i do it is by creating another track or another channel um, in Pro Tools, I tend to create a bus, if I need to, um, and it's not quite as elegant as as, as it is in Mixbus, but um, yeah, I just create a bus, and depending on the, uh, the settings, um, I might have to mute that or pop a gate on it, depending on what the scenario is, uh, whether there's need for me to chat with a band in between takes or, or whatever but um yeah mixbus this is mixbus 3.7 um the same is applicable to the sort of sister daw mixbus 32c version 3 um and here's the solution um if your daw is different to this then um just take this as a bit of an inspiration on how to go about getting a talk back. So I have a track set up here. I just created a new audio track and I named it Talk Back. Well, hey, um, you may want to solo isolate it, uh, which means if you're um, if you're soloing, if you've got a, a particular track on solo, um, then you know you um, you won't mute the uh, <laughs> the talk back mic. Um, and that's quite common, you know, sometimes I solo tracks that are being performed, so I don't hear the background music, and then, you know, the 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 the, um, the, the take ends, and we're still on solo. So we need to make sure that we are solo safe on the track we're using. Um, now, in Mixbus, that's that little ISO button here at the bottom. Let me zoom in and show you that. There we go. Um... And I believe it is control clicking the solo button on certain other DAWs. Pro Tools amongst them. Um, so, yeah, what are the things that we need to be aware of? Well, in Mixbus, you need to make sure you go to transport and auto input. And that needs to be clicked. Auto input needs to be ticked. And why is that? Well... This is because when you press play, which I'll do now, and you'll hear me vanish in a second, I'll just keep making some noise and press play. I come back in, hey, hey. as soon as I press stop, uh, the, uh, the channel opens again. So basically that means that when we do a recording or we play back the, the track for the artist, they can't hear me prattling away in the background and they can't hear the echo of, of me monitoring what they're doing. So you avoid kind of feedback type loops or echoey type loops and so on. So, um, of course, you can select the output if you want to take it off master and send it to whatever output their Q mix is on. Um, in this case, uh, you know, I might have my QMix set up on 17 and 18 and I can do that in the routing grid or I can do that just by sending out to an individual chat, an individual hardware output or I could do it by sending out 
with a new external send. Um, so that's the basics. Uh, tips for TalkBack. Well, it's kind of quite good sometimes to have quite an aggressive limiter um, or compressor on the uh, on the TalkBack channel. And this means that I can sort of drift off and do things around the room. Maybe I need to wrap some cables or maybe I need to adjust a... a um, uh, a preamp that's over behind me and you know the uh the leveler or the limiter we can choose from either of those on mixbus are particularly useful and i've um i've rolled back the attack over here let's just show you that change um you know we can we can make it so it's sort of um allowing the transients to come through and then clamping down on the uh, on the rest of the uh, the audio obviously we can use makeup gain if we need a bit more volume which is this little button here this little knob and that's how i sort of keep a bit more of a consistent sound for the artist in their headphones when i'm talking to them so that's my hints and tips on um making a talkback channel if you need to use a gate, use a gate as well. Uh, but I would tend to just compress a bit hard so the artist, as soon as the um, as soon as the audio is stopped, they can hear what's going on in the, in the control room. Now, bear in mind this is not like a normal, not like a normal um, talkback. It will open as soon as the uh, the playback has stopped, and that can be a little bit. Um, how do we say? Uh, political uh, um, if you are discussing the artist's performance um, and you don't want them to hear you so just be careful on that one but it's a zero weight uh, way of and zero cost way of um, adding talk back to your mobile setup so hope you enjoyed that i will see you next time happy recording